found a lead that may help us unravel more about Zero Day and the bombings we ate shit for. I've picked up an encrypted signal from the Tone Conference site that's been broadcasting on a loop since the night of the bombing. Go investigate. You might even get to try out that fancy new AR tech we stole. I mean, creatively shared. to share your responsibility online. When you see something suspicious, then it's time to speak up. SIRS, we're looking out for Britain. Are you? There's nothing left here. It feels wrong standing in the place where so many people died. Aren't they supposed to be rebuilding? Nothing's been done. Said so Albion sniffing around like dogs for a bone. Something's dodgy. Good point. Bagley, what exactly am I looking for? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal. It seems to be coming from within the rubble.
What the hell? This is it. The signal is coming from this spiderbot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. I'm impressed it's transmitting anything at all in this condition. Where's the rest of it? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. Relays to go. data relay and I'll have it. Just take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and... Got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. I understand. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back for you? Don't cuff the Kelly dog. Um. 
wait, Kelly. As in Clan Kelly? So gangsters are behind the bombings? Seems to me like they supplied the explosives. They were making a delivery. Interesting. I wonder who they were meeting. She didn't look like Clan Kelly. Does that mean she's part of Zero Day? Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bagley, can you tell me who is controlling the Spider-Bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the Spider-Bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Fuck me. The man had eyes on this while it went down. That's heavy. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. One to transport. We can do that, right? Or, I don't know, quantum tunnel the space-time continuum? Quantum tunnel technology is at least ten years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Good plan. those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo. I understand. RDX nitrogen and the exact same detonators. Don't like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Zero days calling card. There, hurry. We've got all the delivery. So you were hired to supply all the targets? Shut it. We're all on need to know. So Zero Day coordinated multiple groups to commit the bombings. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. Tracing the Spiderbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. 
Perhaps more information about this user or its assignment will be available at the station. It's hard to believe the police may have known who the real bombers were all along and never said anything to the public. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. Problem. It looks like Albion overtook the station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatised goon squad, just take your business across the street. Pretty sure that privatising the police force defeats the purpose of having police. Not to worry. The only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spider-Bot will be further in. Run, fly, crawl, whatever it is you do.
Fagley, is that the same spider bot? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Can you identify the last? Oh, you cunt. Who fucked this up? Find the suspect. Yeah, moving on. Area clear. Gonna keep searching. If I see anybody, I'll go over there. Area clear, moving on. I don't see anything else. Clear! Thinking what I'm thinking, Bagley. According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Must be a way to ID the last user. Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. I've got this. <laughs> that opening right there looks like a good exit point. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now.
Buggery fuck, would you look at all this junk? You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next vent opening. decided they couldn't be trusted to do their jobs. Suddenly some corporation could clean up our streets better than the same police force we've had for who knows how long. When crime fighting is treated like a business, crime will never go away. That would be bad for business, right? So don't tell me Albion has our best interests at heart, If the police could handle their job, Albion wouldn't be necessary. But they can't. The tone bombing is a perfect example. A bunch of lazy, overpaid cops are asleep at the wheel. Well, they're not at the wheel anymore, are they? You're almost there. Make your way through this last bent path. Thank you. There we go. I think you just made a new friend. If Albion wanted to lock them up, they must be dangerous. And dangerous we can use. Dead on. No. Oh. I have it. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Fine. The Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. This fucking rabbit hole just goes deeper and deeper, doesn't it? Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. Your somewhat reckless teammate has got themselves thrown in the old clink, I'm afraid. Difficult to resist oppression from behind bars. It will be a while before they're available. Pro tip, however, why not recruit a barrister to the team? I mean, no one exactly likes a barrister, but they do have their function. They should be able to shorten the jail time of imprisoned operatives.
Well, fuck. We got ourselves a rogue cop shop. Well, if Albion was stomping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch, too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. Enough to follow a lead all the way to the tone bombing. What do you think, Begley? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved. And they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these... Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Fuck. Now I've been thrown in with the Kellys, waiting on the bloody lizard people to join the conspiracy. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Hank Kelly and Albion included. Well, I'm not sitting on my ass while they go on abducting people off the street. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. <laughs> 